Okay, we're talking about uh, the reality of our righteousness, and um, I think it's for most people that have received the Messiah and that are saved, that are born again by the set apart Spirit. Um, they struggle sometimes in, in knowing the reality of the new creation. Uh, I shared in our last video that 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the Apostle Paul writing to the church in Corinth, he said, Therefore, if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, the the new creation that he's making reference to is, is the inward man. There's an inward man and there's an outward man. Uh, you're looking at my outward man, but the inward man uh, is, is someone you cannot see. It's the real me. Uh, man is composed of spirit, soul, and body. Uh, Paul made reference to that in, in what he wrote, and um, I can't remember the exact uh, scripture, but it's, he talked about that your, I pray that your whole uh, spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Messiah, the Mashiach. So man is three parts. He's spirit, soul, he, he, and he has a body. He, he, he is spirit, he has a soul, and he lives in a physical body. The soul of man is, is composed of your emotions, your will, your, your mind. Um, the, the Ruach of the spirit that we have, you have to, that's why a person has to be born again is because you need a, uh, to have life in you. When, when Adam fell and sinned, he died spiritually. Do you remember Yahuwah told Adam, he said, in the day you eat, of that forbidden tree, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he said, if you eat of that, you shall surely, in that day, you shall surely die. And we know that he actually, Adam lived actually about 900 years after the fall. And that, um, so when Yahuwah was, was talking about the fact that in that day you, that you eat of it, you shall surely die, he was making reference in the realm of the spirit, of the, of the spirit. And so that's why you and I need life. We need eternal life. We need the set apart spirit um, in order to to uh, to be born again. And in order to uh, become like our heavenly Father. That's why when you receive this Messiah, He gives you His Spirit. The sp the, the book of Romans chapter eight verse eleven says, "If any man have not the Spirit of Messiah, the Mashiach." He is none of his. In other words, you don't belong to the family of Yahuwah. You have to have the spirit of the Messiah in order to be part of his family. A lot of people say, well, you know, they make the statement that we're all uh, children of God, talking about the whole world, we're all children of God. And, of course, that's not accurate because we're not all children of, of God or, or actually uh, of Yahuwah. That we're all the only way you become a child of Yahuwah is to be born of the set apart spirit. Um, that's what first John talked. First John said, Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahuwah, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now, he, of course, he's talking about uh, born of Yahuwah. Whosoever is born of Yahuwah um, is a are the children of Yahuwah. So when does that happen? That happens the moment that a person truly believes on the Messiah, uh, acknowledges and puts acknowledges him as their savior. And the moment that so someone truly believes that, then they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And uh, so when that happens, we are a new creature as far as Yahuwah. He sees us in the realm of the spirit. And that we're already perfected before him in, in the realm of the spirit. We still have our flesh to deal with, with all the frailties of your flesh. Uh, that's why we're waiting for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our physical bodies. When this mortal shall have put on immortality and this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. <laughs> what a glorious day that will be. And that will happen the moment the rapture takes place. As the Apostle Paul wrote about in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 and 52, 
He also wrote about this in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. Talking about the fact is that uh, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed. And we, all that he's making reference to, of course, it are the, the true born-again believers in the Messiah, whether you be Jew or Gentile, that you have put your faith and trust in the Messiah. We'll pick this up on our next session. Again, thank you for joining me today. And uh, until next time, shalom.